Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Finance on Your Terms with your host, me, Mike Benaziak. Thanks for tuning in. So this week we're going to talk about three tips that you're able to use right now in order to up your 401k or other retirement plan game. Number one is think of how much you're contributing into a retirement plan in terms of dollars instead of percentages. And we all know anytime we join up a new company or we, when we're usually talking retirement plans, they ask how much percent do you want to deduct off of your paycheck every single pay period into that retirement plan? Well, let's get in the mindset, instead of thinking of percentage, turning that into dollars, and that may, be, may make it an easier decision for you. For instance, if you make $50,000 gross per year, a 1% increase, $500 a year, okay, would be $9.62 per week. So that's $500 divided by 52 weeks. It's around $9.62. Can you find $9.62 per week? Most likely the answer is yes. In fact, you may be holding a Starbucks once a day that equals a lot more of that a week. So if you turn those percentages into dollar amounts, it can be a lot easier for us in our minds to figure out, oh yeah, I can do $9 a week, I can do $10 a week, heck, I can do $18 a week and double that, increasing my 401k contribution by 2% this year. So turn it into dollars and I think it'll make more sense for you. The second thing is auto rebalancing. Most companies now, nowadays in the retirement plans, most companies managing the retirement plans, allow you to rebalance your account, which means buying and selling the investments to your account to bring them back to that original allocation or the allocation that you're putting money into every single pay period. The reason you want to do this is to keep that overall balance of your account long term because that original balance should match your situation. And with everything going on in the markets here and there, sometimes it gets out of whack. Well, you want to bring that back into its original allocation. Some companies will allow you to do this automatically. You can set it up and say once a quarter, semi-annually, once a year. I would at least do it once a year. We'll do it for you. Otherwise, I would go in every six months, every year, and rebalance it back to that original allocation. Number three, the final tip, is actually taking that account and increasing their contributions little by little. It's a shock to the system to say, all right, I've got a retirement goal right now. I know what I need to do. Let's increase my contributions by 5% this year. That can be a pretty, sh pretty big shock to the budget. And sometimes we go back and say, oh my God, I can't handle that. Uh, now I'm in trouble. I got to pull it back, pull it back. One way to look at this is to, to set yourself a target. I'm going to increase my contributions by 1% or 2% a year. And what I like to tell clients is relate that to a raise. Let's say, and hopefully this is the case, maybe not always, let's say you get a 2% raise per year. Take one of those percents and give it to yourself. You've earned it. That's your raise. You can take that home with you every single pay period. But that other percentage, increase your 401k or other retirement plan contribution. First of all, you're not going to miss it. You never had that percent in the first place. Second of all, you do that every single year. 1% a year is going to add up very quickly into reaching those retirement goals that you have. So hopefully these three tips are able to help you out right now. Take those action steps and do something about it today. Thanks for tuning in to Finance on Your Terms this week. As always, I'm Mike Benaziak, and we'll see you soon.